The embargo is ended on the 2023 fifth generation Toyota Prius. Make sure to check out my driving impressions. I'll have a few more videos coming in the next couple days with the Prius, this being one of them. There are a lot of Easter eggs with the Prius. Toyota, like the Corolla Cross before, it has given a lot of thought into the small details of the Prius. So today I'm gonna share all the Easter eggs on the new 2023 Toyota Prius. Let's get into it. <laughs> Prius owners are pretty cheeky. I saw this driving my kids to school uh, yesterday. And what's funny is that the rear lens for the taillight's gone. It actually looks better with the, the rear lens gone here, but got Tom Petty on the Prius. It's definitely a Florida thing. Tom Petty, rest in peace. Now you could argue that this isn't really an Easter egg, but there's a lot of Prius branding all over the vehicle. One of the most obvious ones is right here underneath the large screen. And don't go for the eight inch screen if you're getting an XLE. It's only about 700 bucks more to get this 12 inch screen because the eight inch screen looks terrible. Pay a little bit more, don't be too cheap. Now the wireless charger here um, is the kind of vertically in like an envelope. You'd kind of slot it in. It worked actually really well with my phone. It didn't work with Matt Moran's phone who I test drove with. Um, but yeah, you see hashtag wireless charger in there. So that is unique to the Prius. Now, we also have Prius on the rear fender of the rear wheel. Hopefully that made sense. So this is the rear bumper and you see Prius uh, right there stamped into kind of like the, the, the wheel surround portion. So that's neat. That's a unique uh, thing for the Prius. Panoramic glass roof. You can see it stamped into the glass right there. So I, it might be a hashtag as well, but it's really hard to read the panoramic glass roof. Um, it, it took me several times to fill, ju film just that one spot there because it's really hard to film. This isn't necessarily an Easter egg, but it is new for the Prius. Is their new Beyond Zero logo? This is going to be on all their new vehicles. What's interesting is that the BZ4X came out just before this. Maybe, I guess you could say maybe nine months or so before this, give or take with uh the recall but the the bz4x that i know of probably doesn't have this until the next model year so the prius is the first one to have this beyond zero logo here uh we have it on the prime for other markets it'll just say phev and you'll see this on the mirai as well so pretty cool i like the little medallion there um okay next easter egg when you open up the passenger door on the dash you can see the vent here here's a little prius right cute little cutout there or a little stamp whatever you want to say this is on the rear glass. You can see these are kind of the uh, defrost uh, lines here. And then we have Prius letters right there at the bottom right hand of the windshield or the rear windshield. Hybrid Reborn, when you lift the tailgate, uh, this is one of the more obvious ones to see on the vehicle. And this has kind of been the marketing jargon uh, for Toyota with the new Prius. Hybrid Reborn is an understatement. It's more like Prius Reborn because the Prius itself is, it, you can't really identify it with other previous Priuses other than the name and probably just the fuel efficiency. Because the rest of the vehicle with having such an aggressive style to it and performance into it, it's a really a, a, a just a quantum leap in terms of what the Prius used to be. Um, here's just a high quality image instead of a video of that on the rear fender. Uh, next one. Okay, so we mentioned the passenger side have an Easter egg on the dash. They also have it on the driver side here. Hybrid Reborn again on the front. Well, this is the, the hood latch. So right behind this is obviously the engine bay there. A little tiny Prius logo at the top of the front windshield or the bottom of the front windshield. I'm trying to remember here. It might be at the bottom. I don't quite remember it's somewhere on the front windshield uh so forgive me not remembering if it's i think it's at the top but this line's throwing me off here making me think that it's it's at the bottom so let's keep moving this is a pretty sneaky one it says prius in here i know it's kind of hard to read but this is the gas cap obviously right here so boom pop the gas cap and then you have a little reminder that you're driving a prius when you fill up gas and you're always going to be grateful, like filling up my third gen Prius with gas. I still get around 50 miles a gallon. Like it's, it's super cheap to refuel. Uh, not really an Easter egg, but the, um, cargo mats here or the, the rubber trays here has Prius in it as well. And we're coming, we're getting close to the end here. So hidden hashtag hidden compartment. Where is this? Uh, it's right underneath the screen. So let me see if I can find the image here of where, where it is. So 
you see the shifter here at the bottom and you see this little, um, I guess, lever. You pull that, this tray pops out and then underneath is the hidden compartment. So that's where that one is. Um, glove box, hashtag glove box. So yeah, I guess maybe the BZ4X doesn't have this. So maybe it's a little dig at the, <laughs> the BZ4X. Uh, they left a little USB charger in there or whatever. Maybe this is a, and I think this is the hockey puck that I don't run off and steal the Prius so they can locate the vehicle. Um, console box. So this is underneath the armrest. You pull it up. There's like a little felt carpet in there. You pull that up and then you have hashtag console box. We're getting close to the end. This is a sneaky one. Most people probably won't see this in their lifetime. Uh, hashtag battery. This is the, the case for the 12 volt battery in the back. So this is the rear, this cargo area. On the right hand side here is the battery and then this is the, the cover that goes right over the battery we just have two more easter eggs here <laughs> and this is the the button underneath here for um lifting the rear hatch the rear hatch is automated on the limited models you have a little like power closed totally unnecessary in a vehicle like this kind of like the 360 camera i think is pretty unnecessary and so here's the rear camera which is standard of course, it's mandated by the government. And then you have door handle underneath there. No one's ever going to see that, but a cool little Easter egg there. And then this is the last one. Um, no, we don't, I don't know what it looks like, but Toyota said behind the license plate is another Easter egg. So maybe it says hashtag license plate or something silly. So those are all the Easter eggs that I know of. I wouldn't be surprised if there are more. I didn't see any in the back seat, but again, there's probably something in the back seat. Pricing real quick for you guys, if you didn't know it already, it is definitely more pricey than the outgoing Prius, but you're getting a better looking vehicle. Maybe not quite as practical, but you're getting a heck of a lot, 60% more horsepower. Who's going to complain about that uh, while getting the same efficiency roughly? So um, the one I want to get is probably the XLE all-wheel drive, but I live in Florida, so getting all-wheel drive is very can be very difficult. I think XLE here or limited is going to be the most realistic, but I want the XLE with the, the larger screen and the fixed glass roof. Um, I could care less about digital rear mirror or heated rear seats, and I could care less about the limited premium package, which includes the advanced park system. I'm not going to press a button and have the car park, for, park itself. It's a nightmare. Uh, and then I don't care about the panoramic view monitor because I have the front and rear parking automatic brakes. So the sweet spot for me is going to be the XLE with uh, the larger screen and the fixed glass roof. The only thing I wish the XLE had was a JBL sound system. So that's what I'm, that's the main thing I feel like I'm giving up versus a limited. Uh, the XLE and limited look identical. There's no difference other than maybe badge. And uh, yeah, the wheels are the same. The trim on the outside is the same. There is no difference to my understanding, the LE has the smaller wheels. That's the difference there with the 17 inch wheels. Uh, premium paints are windshield. So if you want if you want white or pearl white, it's gonna cost you extra money. Supersonic red, which is probably the color I'm gonna get because I already have a red Prius. Uh, I want the yellow, I want the mustard color, but yeah, I let Toyota know. I let the people who order colors for the North American cars, I let them know like, I want that yellow. I know it might not sell as well as Guardian Gray or I don't know, cutting edge or whatever other colors they have, but man, that mustard to me was by far the best looking color. Anyway, supersonic red is an ad additional 425 bucks. But what do you think about all those Easter eggs on the new Prius? This vehicle has been thought over very, very well by Toyota, and I think it's going to be well received. I just hope that they're able to pump out the volume uh, to meet the demand, but Toyota has been able to meet the demand f since uh, 2021, nor has any manufacturer for that. Re, uh, like no one's been able to meet the demand of their consumers uh, because of the supply shortages, mainly the microchips. And therefore that's why the LE Corolla has a turnkey ignition. And that's something I just couldn't live with, uh, with smart, like I need to have that smart key access uh, just for ease of use. But I'm gonna end it there. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button, subscribe for more Prius updates. And if everything goes well, I should be getting a Prius, brand new one here on the channel. We'll see, maybe in January, February, depends on uh, what kind of allocation comes to the dealers around me and what, what are available. So we'll see. Thank you guys so much. Take care of yourselves and peace. Yeah.